What's good? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. We've got a few iPhone stories, as usual, and some fun ones as well, so let's get to it. The China Times says Apple's new backlight component will only use one brightness enhancement film instead of two that's been used in the past. Now, this could reduce the size of the LCD and help create the thinnest iPhone to date, but it will allegedly also make manufacturing more difficult, and we've heard about early manufacturing constraints in reports. Also, the latest from Digitimes says that Samsung has received orders from Apple to be the first to start manufacturing their A9 processor using its 14 nanometer process with volume production set to ramp up in the next year. Now, Intel and TSMC have also been named as potential partners, but we're still waiting for the A8 to make it into this year's devices, so the A9 is still a long ways out. And if you're not blown away with the progress of Siri, you're not the only one. A report from Wired says the Big A is now forming its own in-house speech recognition team to power the next-gen Siri. iOS 8 will still run the current evolution with additions like saying, Hey Siri, at any time, which means she's listening all the time, and built-in Shazam song recognition. Maybe they're finally working on my day one complaints because it still hasn't made any major improvements with its speed or accuracy. And since I'm not in the best of moods, we can talk about Apple killing Aperture. It was a product that never really truly caught on with professionals, maybe because its last update was in 2011. That probably had something to do with it. Now, Apple mentioned their new Photos app at WWDC, and it looks to replace it, allowing you to import your Aperture libraries, and maybe third-party extensions really seems like the most exciting addition. But Photos isn't only replacing Aperture, it's also going to replace iPhoto. So it's basically an iPhoto Pro, and we saw how that worked out for Final Cut Pro X out of the gates. I might take this back when I see it, but right now, this smells like a bad apple. <laughs> All right, on to the quick bites. Apple adds a ton of new partners from the Fiat Chrysler Group for CarPlay support, including Chrysler, Dodge Fiat, Jeep Ram, and Alfa Romeo. Mazda is also on board as well. And Apple refreshed the iPod line with a new introductory level iPod Touch this week in the US and internationally, starting at the lower price of $199 for a 16 gig model. Previously, it was priced at $229, but there's no major hardware upgrade here. And the Big A has launched their back-to-school promo for qualified education purchases with a $100 Apple Store gift card with the purchase of a Mac or a $50 card with the purchase of an iPad or iPhone on top of your education discount. Now, Apple continues to promote that you can really do anything with your phone, and I believe it after two new products have been launched. Now, this one's for the ladies and some of you gents. I give you Ringly. It's a high-tech smart ring that can notify users of incoming messages, notifications, and phone calls. You can even set different vibration patterns for different notifications. It's an 18-karat gold ring with a semi-precious stone and a battery life of roughly three days with a pre-sale campaign starting at $145 a pop. And even cooler, the Marble Kickstarter has been funded for the world's lightest skateboard that lets you control it with an iOS app it can hit speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. It can travel 10 miles in a single charge as well. This thing weighs nine pounds, and I'm keeping my eye on it because it says chick magnet all over it. Seriously. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. We're working on an Ask Me Anything show, so all you have to do is send us your emails to the Applebyte at CNET.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, and you could be featured in our Apple Biters QA. And really, you guys can ask me anything. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.